But in Sanskrit, like many of the Indian languages and unlike Tamil, there are four letters in a class and a nasal of a particular class or varga. So there is not just only a ka, you have a ka, ga, ga. That class we will see now. So we are uh, now displaying or go to the page where you see all the 25 consonants. Let us look at the four letters with the examples of words. Suppose you want to say kashi. The ka or when you say California, the ka will be light and it is touching the top portion of the tongue, right? So it is light. Now you want to say kana, khan. Now what happens? The ka starts reverberating from a lower point and that means your tongue is, when you say ka, it is touching a point lower and sound starts reverberating from little bit bottom of the throat. Now you want to say cow, which is gai. Now when you pronounce the third letter, your sound still goes and reverberates from the bottom of the throat. So gai, when you say it will be, the touch point will be lower than what you said as California or Khana, now Ghai, it is still lower. Now you want to say Ghi, Gridam, which represents the Ghi in Sanskrit. Now, now the reverberation goes much lower. The tongue, the bottom of the tongue touches the lowermost part, or the possible lowermost part, Ghi, Ghi, and it reverberates still further from the back of the throat. So, the classification of these four letters in each varga represent the first letter will be with a touch reverberating from the top of the mouth, then little behind will be the second letter, more from the bottom of the throat, throat will be the third letter and the bottommost portion will be the fourth letter. So after ka, ka, ga, ga, you find the letter nga. Nga is nothing similarly like you say ka, the tongue touches the top portion of your mouth, right? Fleshy portion of your mouth. But when you say nga, the sound is also forced through the mouth and part of the sound is forced through the nose. Therefore, the fifth letter of all the class or varga is called the nasal of the class, right? So, this should be borne in mind. The touch point is same, but all the nasal, the reverberation of the sound will be partially through the mouth and also through the nose. So, we have seen ka, ka, ga, ga. What is the next varga? Cha. So, first you have cha, next cha, ja, ja. And the nasal letter is ma. Now when you say cha, this cha reverberates for it's a palatal, right? So cha, as you say, it touches and the sound reverberates from the front of the mouth. But you try to say chandas, the reverberation goes a little bit behind. Now you want to say jaya, ja. So now the reverberation goes a little bit back. Now you want to say flag, janda, janda, ucha, rahe, hamara. If you say like that, the ja reverberates from the bottom of the throat. So the rule is, like in many other Indian languages, Sanskrit also, it is ka, ka, ga, ga. You say cha, cha, ja, ja. And the nasal letter is nya, right? Now, what happens to nya? When you say nga, the air partially is only forced through the mouth. But nga, the sound reverberates also and for, is forced through the nose. That's why it is a nasal. So you should remember that each nasal letter of a class, the touch point is same as the other letters of the class. So the next class or varga is murdhan, right? Head. So what are the letters said? Ta. Tha, da, da. So you try to say pot, pot, like tha is with a light touch from the, the tha reverberates from the fr fr uh, front of the mouth. Now, now you try to say pataha, tha. Now the force is, uh, the vibration is from behind the uh, little, uh, from the back portion of the mouth, but the touch point is murtan and always some part of the air is forced through the mouth, but the main portion is pushed up because your tongue is closing it in the cave, right? That is, or you'd say in Hindi, thanda, right? Next. Next one is da. It's an equivalent of saying mridaya, the third one, da. So what happens? Touch point is different, but like you say ga, the da, the reverberation is going to the bottom of the throat. Now you say the fourth dha. 
that is me do she he what happens now the do when you say the da do the reverberation goes further down into the bottom of the throat right and therefore you remember 1 2 3 4 letters represent the touch points and the reverberation from the front of the mouth goes downwards and it reaches the bottom of the throat when you say the fourth letter so what is the nasal of the tavarga it is na as you say in narayana when you say na na the air is pushed up therefore it na na the na comes from reasonably the front portion but it is pushed up and therefore it is the nasal and it is the nasal of the class called murdan or head so what is the next varga ka cha ta 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 is dental your tongue touches the teeth so what's the first when you say ta the reverberation is light from the front of the mouth like you say tamil right ta next you say ratham the ta comes a little from the back of the mouth then when you say tamil now ratham it goes to the back of the mouth now you say deva so the dha comes from the back of the mouth more closer in the throat now you say dhanam it comes from the back of your bottom of your throat so the concept of 1 2 3 4 matches here also now what is the nasal nasal is na this na when you say in sanskrit your tongue will touch the bottom row of the teeth na light bit of air will come through the mouth but a good portion is forced through reverberation is forced through the nose but readers should remember if you are from some of the indian languages like tamil or you know tamil or malayalam there are two nas that we use in sanskrit there is only one na that na is light and it has to come from the tongue and the tongue touches only the lower part or the way some people's mouth is organized you may touch the top part but it will never go and touch the upper part or where you touch for sir because in tamil when you say naan the na there is a hard na like when you say in tamil kannam annam what happens is the sound na is the na touches the area where it touches cha or little different from cha but more close contact light lighter vibration not as hard as cha therefore many people would raise a doubt as to should na be pronounced like this but as per a sanskrit scholar your native tongue or whatever is your mother tongue sometimes determines the way you say therefore a person learning tamil or in Mal- Malayalam says a na with a little stress and touching the part which is just above the uh, upper root of the teeth. It's okay, but the scholars say it should come light from the touch of the bottom row of the. t okay so this has to be remembered very well so that there will be a slight vibration differences based on the language that you are used to so what is the next varga pavarga that is lips or labial so you would say pa both the lips touch and the reverberation is from the front of the mouth next you say phalam your mouth is a little bit open the reverberation is from the back of the mouth now you say balam meaning strength the reverberation comes from the back of the mouth or the top of the throat now you say bhayam now it reverberates from the bottom of your throat so observe the contact point and you have to keep on improving your pronunciation to the right level so what's the national ma when you say ma because the mouth gets open there is a bit of air thrown as you open your mouth because of the a uh, but ma as it is closed the sound is forced more through the also is forced through the nose therefore it is the nasal of the power ga right so remember the rule for 25 key consonants ka ka ga ga nasalis na cha cha ja ja nya ta ta dha dha na ta ta dha dha na then pa 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 bha bha ma these are the key 25 letters of the sanskrit consonants